Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color expert and e-design consultant. Today we're going to take a close-up look at Benjamin Moore Metropolis. So, Metropolis is a grey paint colour, but it is not a typical grey paint colour. If you're looking for a nice cool charcoal, this is not your paint colour, because Metropolis is actually a considerably warm grey. I wouldn't say it's greyish, I'd say with its undertones it's almost got a slightly taupe approach. And you know why? Because it has purple undertones. So every grey will have undertones, blue, purple or green. Metropolis is quite committed to its purple undertone. Now that's not to say it'll be overwhelming, it's not, but it means that it is not going to go green and it is not going to blue, go blue like some other grey paint colours can. I find that Metropolis is a really great choice for some of those countertops from um, the granites from the 1990s and 2000s, as well as some of the laminates. They tend to like that warmer, a little bit more richer grey approach compared to the cooler greys that a lot of people are into right now. So with its purple undertone and its LRV, it's definitely sitting in that darker range and it's great to look at some comparisons. I want to show you Sherwin-Williams Dovetail. These two are often kind of running in the same crowd, because a lot of people want Dovetail on their kitchen cabinets, but it can be that little bit grey, and you might need that slightly taupier warmth that's in Metropolis. Let's look at Chelsea Grey. Chelsea Grey is a hit. Now when people are looking for a standard charcoal paint colour, they are definitely checking out Chelsea Grey. And it will really show you that warmth there, right? So Chelsea Grey, I have a video and blog post on that too, you can check it out. But that really shows you the difference between a warm grey with that taupe approach. This is actually a slightly warm grey, believe it or not, but a little bit of a green undertone. Interesting, hey? I just, I love it when you actually can see the difference, right? Let's also look at Gauntlet Grey from Sherwin-Williams. Really good comparable, a little darker, a little greyer, a little less taupey. Again, really good comparison. So that's Benjamin Moore Metropolis. No, I want to talk about more. Wait, if you put Metropolis on an exterior, you are going to find it's going to look warmer than you would expect. Even on a northern exposure, I'm always surprised by that little bit of warmth that comes up in Metropolis. It's not that it's not there, but on exteriors with natural light, it seems to show up to the party a heck of a lot more. And it also tends to look that little bit lighter and brighter compared to, say, a feature wall on your interior. If you have north facing light, Metropolis, it will lean that little bit back into grey. It will never, ever, ever, amen, look like a cool grey paint colour. It will always have a reasonable amount of warmth. If you have south facing light, oh, it's definitely going to lean warmer. You're going to pick up that little bit more brown, that little bit more taupe. I find it never looks like a brown paint colour but it certainly gets warmer than a traditional grey or even a traditional warm grey. There, now we're done. So that's Benjamin Moore Metropolis. I hope you'll visit me on my blog at Kylie M Interiors and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and you can follow me on Instagram. I'd love to see you there. Thanks for watching.